Derek Crozier and I'm the owner of Bonobo Espresso in Bank Street in Adelaide. I love coffee because it's very versatile. There's so many different avenues you can take in the industry, for example. You can roast coffee, you can brew coffee, be a barista, um, you know, you can uh, talk about coffee, uh, you know, there's competitions, there's so many aspects and coffee itself has such a diversity. There's so many different avenues down coffee and uh, uh, that's what makes it exciting. My name's Caitlin, I'm 22 and I'm working in a cafe while studying full time. I've definitely learned a lot through Derek and I, I can say that I've never actually enjoyed working in coffee as much as I have from working here with Derek. He's taught me a lot and I'm very happy to be here. I have uh, the word coffee, cocky, written on my arm in, uh, in Chinese. Um, I love the characteristics, obviously. I know it's very cliche for someone to get Chinese characters on their arm, um, but it was something that was special to me. Uh, coffee is my passion, so I thought that would be the best tattoo to get. And I thought about getting coffee beans tattooed on me, but I was worried they wouldn't look like coffee beans. So uh, I thought the word coffee in another language would be good. I used to have a film production business and I used to be involved in film, uh, but specialising in filming coffee. So there's a niche market at the moment in Australia for uh, being a specialist in maybe a certain area and mine was being passionate about coffee, um, also being passionate about film production and I was very lucky that those two passions joined forces and I got to do both. So I did filming uh, of like the barista competitions that happen all around Australia. Um, I filmed, uh, you know, things like um, big businesses, like am I allowed to say McDonald's and Pura Milk? Uh, big companies needed coffee related filming done for promotional material. And that's what I used to specialize in. When I started the cafe, I knew it would be very hard. Uh, it would be very challenging. Um, and I was, I was up for it. I was up for the experience. Uh, there was a lot of trials and tribulations when I first opened. Um, timing was everything. The pressure to get everything right. Because I have a lot of competition uh, in this area. Uh, a lot of other coffee shops. So. I know that people would only give me one chance to get it right, so I had to make sure that everything was 110% when I opened. Instead of uh, opening a shop and changing it and growing and, and learning, which we still do, but I had to make sure everything was 100% ready to go when I opened. So I named the cafe after a type of ape called the bonobo. Um, some people call it a chimpanzee, I think technically it's an ape. Um, and they're very kind natured and uh, they're very, um, they're 98.7% of human DNA. So being very close to human, I figured that's how we feel in the morning before a coffee, uh, nearly human. So uh, that's why I chose the name bonobo espresso for my cafe. One of the biggest things I heard, the biggest uh, problems in the coffee industry was the customer service was lacking. So I heard from many people that uh, people felt that there wasn't very good customer service in the industry. So I knew that if I focused on the best experience for the customer, then they will associate positive thoughts with my business and therefore come back again. And I knew that regular customers was the most important part of my business, so I focused on them. Definitely like his beans and his attitude. Very friendly man. It's the environment. 
uh, very personalised and it feels real homely when you come to Derek or Bonobos. Um, other coffee places are good too. Um, depends, like I'll go over there in the mornings and I'll come here in the afternoon. You've got your regiment. My boss Derek, he puts in 100% with all of his customers and that's one thing that I noticed that's different between other bosses that I've had before is that my other bosses will hang in the back and they, they will let their staff do the work whereas Derek is always out the front making relationships with his customers. Uh, definitely a goal would be to open up more Bonobo Espressos. So if I could start not necessarily a franchise, but lots of Bonobo Espressos, then hopefully the name uh, will be, uh, uh, hopefully people associate enough positive thoughts with the name that it will be successful no matter where I start up. Also the consumer, if the customer also has a lot of knowledge about coffee and it, their knowledge improves on what a good coffee is and what a bad coffee is, then that will also help the rest of the industry and it, the whole industry will all grow as a whole, all together.